Hello colleagues. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we're tackling four key questions about overhead transmission line designs. We'll examine four main questions. 1. Why are bare conductors used for overhead transmission lines instead of insulated ones? 2. Why is earth cable is important in overhead transmission lines? 3. Why is the earth cable positioned at the top of the tower? 4. Why is the earth cable smaller than the transmission line? We'll explore these questions, discuss their significance, and examine how they impact transmission line performance. Let's get started and explore the fascinating world of electrical engineering. If you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider supporting the channel by liking and subscribing. By doing that, you'll stay updated on all my latest videos and never miss a new upload. Stay tuned, as we start. Welcome back. First question. Why use bare conductors for overhead transmission lines instead of insulated conductors? You might wonder why insulated cables, commonly used in underground power transmission, industrial, and residential applications, are not used for overhead transmission lines. Even in homes, wires and cables are well insulated, except for grounding purposes. So, what's the reason behind this difference? At first glance, it might seem unexpected, but there are several important reasons why insulation isn't used in this context. 1. Reduce cost. Insulating long-distance transmission lines would be extremely expensive. The cost of insulation materials, combined with the labor required to apply them, would add up quickly. By not insulating the lines, power companies can save significantly on materials and labor costs. 2. Weight reduction. Insulation for high voltage lines would need to be thick and heavy to be effective. This would put additional stress on the supporting structures, such as towers and poles, which would need to be designed to handle the extra weight. By using bare conductors, the weight of the lines is reduced, making them easier to support. 3. Material efficiency. Using bare conductors reduces material costs and complexity making the system more efficient. With fewer materials to manage, the risk of material failures or defects is also reduced. 4. Improved conductivity. Insulation can actually hinder heat dissipation, reducing conductivity. When insulation is used, it can trap heat generated by the electrical current, causing the conductor to heat up. Bare conductors, on the other hand, allow for better heat dissipation, which helps to maintain conductivity. 5. Simplified maintenance. Insulated lines would require more frequent and costly maintenance checks. With bare conductors, maintenance is simplified, as there is less material to inspect and maintain. 6. Heat dissipation. Overhead transmission lines generate significant heat due to the electrical current they carry. Insulation could trap this heat, leading to overheating issues. By using bare conductors, the heat can dissipate more easily, reducing the risk of overheating. 7. Safety Design Transmission lines are designed with safety in mind. The lines are typically installed at a height that is difficult for people, vehicles, or wildlife to reach, reducing the risk of accidental contact. Additionally, the lines are spaced and cleared to prevent electrical discharges and flashovers. 8. Targeted insulation. While the transmission lines themselves are not insulated, insulation is used strategically at connection points, such as insulators and bushings. These components are designed to prevent electrical leakage and maintain safe operation. In summary, not insulating high voltage cables is a deliberate design choice that allows power transmission companies to achieve a more efficient, cost effective, 
and reliable system. By understanding the reasons behind this design choice, we can appreciate the complexity and nuance of high voltage transmission systems. Now, second question why is earth cable is important in overhead transmission lines earth cables play a crucial role in ensuring the safety and reliability of overhead transmission lines here's a detailed explanation of their seven key purposes one lightning protection earth cables are designed to attract lightning strikes directing the massive electrical discharge harmlessly into the ground this protects the power lines, equipment, and people from the devastating effects of lightning strikes. 2. Fault current protection. In the event of a fault, earth cable provide a safe path for the fault current to flow to the ground. This helps to prevent damage to equipment and reduces the risk of electrical shock or electrocution. 3. Voltage surge protection. Earth cables help to absorb voltage surges, which can occur due to lightning strikes, switching operations, or other disturbances. By absorbing these surges, ground wires prevent damage to equipment and ensure a stable power supply. 4. Electrical shock protection. Earth cables reduce the risk of electrical shock or electrocution by providing a safe path to ground. This is especially important in areas where people may come into contact with power lines or equipment. 5. System Earthing Earth cables establish a reference point for the electrical system, ensuring stability and safety. This reference point helps to prevent voltage fluctuations and ensures that the system operates within safe limits. 6. Short Circuit Protection in the event of a short circuit, earth cables help to clear the fault quickly and safely. This reduces the risk of damage to equipment and prevents the fault from spreading to other parts of the system. 7. Protection of personnel and equipment. Ultimately, the primary purpose of earth cable is to safeguard people and equipment from electrical hazards. By providing a safe path to ground, Earth cable protect personnel from electrical shock and equipment from damage. In summary, earth cables are a critical component of overhead transmission lines, providing multiple layers of protection and ensuring the safe and reliable operation of the electrical system. Then, third question, why is the earth cable size smaller than the line conductor? The earth cable is often smaller than the hot wire because it doesn't carry the full load current under normal operating conditions. Here's why. 1. Fault current path. The earth cable's primary function is to provide a safe path for fault currents to flow to the ground. Since faults are relatively rare and short-lived, the ground wire doesn't need to be as large as the hot wire. 2. Limited current carrying capacity. Earth cables typically only carry current during fault conditions, and even then, it's usually for a brief period. As a result, they don't require the same current carrying capacity as the hot wire. 3. Safety considerations. A smaller earth cable can still provide a safe path to ground and its smaller size can even help to reduce the risk of electrical shock or electrocution. 4. Cost and material savings. Using a smaller earth cable can result in cost and material savings, as less copper or other conductive materials are required. 5. Code and standard compliance. Electrical codes and standards, such as the National Electric Code, NEC, often specify the minimum size requirements for ground wires. These requirements take into account the specific application and the expected fault current levels. In summary, the earth cable is often smaller than the hot wire because it's designed to handle fault currents, not continuous load currents, and because it provides a safe path to ground while also considering cost and material efficiency. Last question why the earth cable is placed at the top of transmission tower. 
The ground wire is typically located above the transmission lines for several reasons. 1. Lightning protection. Note that lightning tends to strike the highest point of a structure first, often targeting the top or uppermost part. By placing the earth cable above the transmission lines, it acts as a shield, attracting lightning strikes and directing them harmlessly into the ground. This protects the transmission lines and equipment from lightning damage. 2. Fault current protection. In the event of a fault, the earth cable provides a safe path for the fault current to flow to the ground. Its elevated position helps to reduce the risk of electrical shock or electrocution. 3. Reduced risk of electrical interference. The earth cable's placement above the transmission lines minimizes the risk of electrical interference or arcing between the transmission lines and the earth cable. 4. Improved safety. Locating the earth cable above the transmission lines enhances safety by reducing the risk of accidental contact or electrical shock. 5. Design and installation considerations. The elevated position of the earth cable also simplifies design and installation, as it provides a clear path for the wire to follow and reduces the risk of damage or interference. In summary, Earth cable is located above the transmission lines to provide effective lightning protection, fault current protection, and safety, while also reducing the risk of electrical interference and simplifying design and installation. That's it for today's video. If you found it helpful, please like, subscribe, and leave your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.